the world has changed dramatically in recent years. No longer do criminals need to physically access your phone to steal your information. They can do it from anywhere in the world. Hackers can now target individuals from afar, breaching the digital walls that protect our photos, messages, and financial data. This means that your personal information is always at risk. This new breed of cybercrime is sophisticated and ever-evolving, but understanding the methods used can help you protect yourself. It's crucial to stay informed about the latest threats. This essay delves into the world of remote phone hacking, exploring the dark corners of the internet where these criminals operate. We'll explore the techniques used by these digital intruders, shining a light on the vulnerabilities that make these attacks possible. From phishing scams to malware, we'll cover it all. Our goal is to empower you, the reader, with knowledge. Knowledge that can help you recognize and avoid potential threats. By understanding the methods used by hackers, you can better protect yourself from becoming a victim. Simple steps like enabling two-factor authentication can make a big difference. Remember, knowledge is the first line of defense in the digital age. Stay vigilant, stay informed, and stay safe. Before we delve into the specifics, a crucial disclaimer. The information presented here is intended for educational purposes only. Our goal is to raise awareness about the very real threats that exist in the digital world, not to provide a how-to guide for aspiring hackers. Using this information for unethical or illegal activities is strongly condemned. Cybersecurity is a shared responsibility, and we must strive to create a safer digital environment for everyone. Let's proceed responsibly, using this knowledge for good, not for harm. To understand how hackers target phones remotely, we need to understand the concept of vulnerabilities. Like cracks in a wall, vulnerabilities are weaknesses in software or hardware that can be exploited by attackers. These weaknesses can be unintentional coding errors, design flaws, or even features that, while convenient, create security loopholes. Hackers actively search for these vulnerabilities, often exploiting them before developers have a chance to patch them. This constant cat-and-mouse game between hackers and security researchers makes it crucial to keep your software updated, as updates often include patches for newly discovered vulnerabilities. Once a vulnerability is discovered, hackers can exploit it to gain unauthorized access to your phone. These vulnerabilities can be found in the operating system, apps, or even through unsecured networks. This can be done through various methods often involving malicious software or malware, designed to take advantage of the specific weakness. Hackers are constantly developing new types of malware to bypass security measures. This malware can be delivered through various channels, including phishing emails, malicious websites, and even through social engineering tactics that trick users into downloading harmful software or even seemingly harmless apps. These apps may appear legitimate, but can contain hidden malware that activates once installed. Once installed on your phone, malware can grant hackers a wide range of access, allowing them to steal your data, spy on your activity, and monitor your communications, or even take control of your device entirely. This can lead to severe privacy breaches and financial losses. This is why it's essential to be cautious about the links you click, the apps you download, and the permissions you grant to these apps, and the networks you connect to. Always use secure Wi-Fi connections, and avoid accessing sensitive information on public networks to minimize risks. Section 5. Phishing, the oldest trick in the book. Phishing is a social engineering technique used by hackers to trick individuals into revealing sensitive information. It often involves emails or text messages designed to mimic legitimate institutions, like banks or government agencies. These messages often create a sense of urgency or fear prompting users to click on malicious links or provide personal information. For instance, you might receive an email claiming to be from your bank, warning of suspicious activity on your account. The email might urge you to click on a link to verify your identity, leading you to a fake website designed to steal your login credentials. Section 6. Malicious Apps – Wolves in Sheep's Clothing Another common method of remote phone hacking is through malicious apps. These apps often disguise themselves as legitimate programs, offering seemingly harmless functionalities like games, utilities, or entertainment. However, hidden within their code lies malicious software designed to exploit vulnerabilities on your phone. 
Once installed, these apps can steal your data, track your location, or even record your conversations without your knowledge. It's crucial to be cautious about the apps you download, sticking to official app stores, and carefully reviewing permissions requested by apps before installation. Section 7. Public Wi-Fi. A hacker's playground. Public Wi-Fi networks, while convenient, can be a breeding ground for hackers. These unsecured networks often lack basic security measures, making it easy for attackers to intercept data transmitted between your phone and the internet. This means that any information you send or receive while connected to public Wi-Fi, like passwords or credit card details, could be vulnerable to interception. Hackers can also set up fake Wi-Fi hotspots with legitimate sounding names, tricking you into connecting to their network. Once connected, they can monitor your internet activity, steal your data, or even inject malware onto your device. Section 8. SS7 Protocol, the Achilles heel of mobile networks. The SS7 Protocol is a complex system used by mobile networks worldwide to communicate with each other. While essential for global connectivity, the SS7 Protocol has inherent vulnerabilities that hackers can exploit to intercept calls, read text messages, and track your location. These attacks are highly sophisticated and often require specialized knowledge and resources. By exploiting SS7 vulnerabilities, hackers can intercept your calls and text messages, even if your phone itself is not compromised. This highlights the importance of using secure messaging apps that offer end-to-end -end encryption, ensuring that only you and the intended recipient can read your messages. Section 9. The Importance of Cybersecurity Awareness In the digital age, Cybersecurity awareness is no longer optional, it's essential. As hackers become more sophisticated, we must stay one step ahead by understanding the threats, adopting safe online practices, and advocating for stronger security measures. Knowledge is power, and in the world of cybersecurity, it can be the difference between staying safe and becoming a victim. Each of us has a role to play in creating a safer digital environment. By educating ourselves and others, we can collectively raise the bar for cybersecurity and make it more difficult for hackers to succeed. Remember, cybersecurity is a shared responsibility. Section 10. Protecting Yourself. Practical Tips for a Safer Digital Life. In today's digital age, our smartphones have become an integral part of our lives, making it essential to safeguard them from potential threats. Fortunately, there are practical steps you can take to protect yourself from remote phone hacking. These steps are simple yet highly effective in ensuring your digital safety. Keep your software updated. Regularly update your phone's operating system and apps to patch vulnerabilities. Software updates often include security enhancements that protect your device from the latest threats. Be cautious about links and attachments. Avoid clicking on links or opening attachments from unknown senders. Cyber criminals often use phishing emails to trick you into revealing personal information or installing malware. Download apps from trusted sources. Stick to official app stores and research apps before downloading them. Reading reviews and checking permissions can help you avoid malicious apps. Use strong passwords and enable two-factor authentication. This adds an extra layer of security to your accounts. A strong password is your first line of defense and two-factor authentication ensures that even if your password is compromised, your account remains secure. Be wary of public Wi-Fi. Avoid using public Wi-Fi for sensitive transactions and consider using a VPN for added security. Public Wi-Fi networks are often unsecured, making it easier for hackers to intercept your data. Keep your phone physically secure. Don't leave your phone unattended in public places and be cautious about who you allow to access your device. Physical security is just as important as digital security. By implementing these simple yet effective measures, you can significantly reduce your risk of falling victim to remote phone hacking. Taking proactive steps today can save you from potential headaches and security breaches in the future. Remember, cybersecurity is an ongoing process and staying informed is crucial. Regularly educate yourself about the latest threats and best practices to keep your digital life secure. Section 11. Stay informed, stay safe. Join CyberWorld YT. The world of cybersecurity is constantly evolving, with new threats emerging all the time. Staying informed is crucial to protecting yourself and your data. That's where CyberWorld YT comes in. 
Our channel is dedicated to providing you with the latest news, insights, and practical tips on all things cybersecurity. We break down complex topics into easy to understand language, empowering you to make informed decisions about your digital security. Subscribe to CyberWorld YT today and join us on the journey to a safer digital world.